Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Ready here to do your next love reading, your drama saga. See what's going on for you in love. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And if you have been a subscriber, welcome. And thanks for subscribing. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. Be mindful, these readings are general. So if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay? Don't try to make it fit. All right, let's take a look here. Six of Cups. Two sixes. My goodness. And the Knight of Cups. Wow. All right, let's see. Five of Swords. Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles, as usual. Queen of Pentacles, oh my goodness. There's some kind of a match here, that's for sure. And the Seven of Swords, I and the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, bottom of the deck. The Hierophant is here. So, um, hello. <laughs> you guys, I'm really gonna tap in today because I'm feeling some really strong energy. Taurus energy here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, mostly, okay. Um, and then we have strength, Leo, some fixed energy. I feel like there's somebody here. And the Empress, Libran. Oh, and the King of Swords. Okay, I feel like there's somebody here. Perhaps you're dealing with a Libra, but... I just heard Defender of the Realm. <laughs> Defender of the Realms. Defending a marriage, defending, fighting for something here, okay? Mm, trying to have a new beginning, a new start. So we definitely have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. You know what, Virgo? This is like coming into a position here or doing something the right way. Confidence, strength to lead, to teach. Um, maybe you're connecting with a teacher or a professor or someone who um, like is out front preaching, preaching the gospel or they're preaching or they're doing something like that. Okay, I'm good. So there's a couple of different messages here. Okay. I just get a sense there's somebody here willing to stand up and fight. We gotta fight for a right. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing the whole song, it's silly. But there's somebody here who's like willing to stand up and defend their beliefs, what they want, coming out of nowhere with this courage and this like this ability to just stand up and fight. Okay. I'm also picking up somebody maybe pregnant or possibly could have a pregnancy that they're not that they don't know about. Now that could be you or it could be someone that you are connected to, like if you have a daughter, uh, an older daughter. Now just give me a minute here because I just feel like there's a there's somebody here, this person here is going to defend their beliefs with all the courage, strength, and confidence that they have here. And their beliefs in the, the sense where it feels like they don't want to stray from, it's like a moral code. Maybe it's you, Virgo. Is it you? Somebody doesn't want to stray from some kind of a moral code here. If there's like a pregnancy or like standing by someone during a pregnancy, or some type of new beginning that's happening here. There's also something to do with a mother, standing by a mother as a mother is going through something. Maybe some of you females are going through some kind of a change or a ch the change in life. And so there's definitely an energy of somebody here um, wanting to stand by you through these changes. Okay, they, I'm hearing, so if it's not a change of life for the ladies, it's some kind of a um, reproductive change or something that's happening. There might be a surgery for some. 
Okay. Whew. Spirit gives me messages, you know, that singing spirits with me already. Okay, your love messages. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, whomever you're connecting with, either they got, either they were losing, they lost their religion, REM, holla. That's me in the corner. Virgo, you're in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You're in the corner. You're being cornered by somebody's religious beliefs or convictions at this time. That's how I feel, or you will be, okay? Somebody here, like this connection, this relationship, whether it's new or old, it has to be done by some kind of a moral code, which is so strange. It might be you and another person. You have different beliefs, religious beliefs, or different viewpoints on things, okay? Could even be, for some of you, someone might be pro-life, someone might be pro-choice. Um, different religious upbringings, different convictions. Somebody might be okay with like casual SEX and another person is like, no, can't have sex until we're married. You know, there's, there's some obstacles, there's some differences here. And I feel that there's somebody here who, you know, is willing to stand by you and stand and fight for the relationship based on these religious principles or these spiritual principles, okay? That is such a strange message. I mean, that's just, that one floored me, okay? I don't think I've ever had anything like that before. If anything else comes up with these five cards here, I will definitely call them out again. All right, so... Okay, this person, Virgo, listen to me. I know up until this point, you've been like, well, this hasn't happened yet. Listen to me. I just got a strange, strong chill that there's somebody here who's coming in and is actually going to express their love for you, tell you like with the most sincerity that they could possibly have like it's such a sincere either love proposal or offer or expression of love it feels true it feels real six of cups energy this person is stuck on you okay this person may for some of you you were friends when you were young or younger Okay, there might have been distance between the two of you, but it feels with the Six of Swords that you've got somebody here who's going to travel the distance or go the distance, overcome their fears and go the distance to express how they truly feel. Were you connected to someone in the past who did not express their love or their feelings for you? Perhaps. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like this person, they just have memories. They think about you. They think about when you were younger. They think about when you first met or how things were in the very beginning. You may be receiving uh, an apology from somebody here as well. Let's take a look at the Six of Cups to see what's going on here. Definitely a romantic gesture coming in with Express Your Love card and the Knight of Cups. All right, there's an apology. Mostly I'm feeling an apology. What is this for? What is this apology about? Oh, Queen of Wands. Okay. There might have been another person, and I feel like this person wants to apologize. Either there was an interference I feel like this person wants to apologize about the interference of another person. Was it a romantic affair? It could have been for others. It, it could have been a, a friend or a sister or uh, a mother or a brother or a father or someone, a work colleague or someone who interfered in this relationship. There's an apology. They want to apologize. And for others, this is a fire sign coming in to just to apologize. But let's get more clear. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? King of Wands. Two messages here. 
you know, I'm feeling strong fire. All the kings are here. Wait. No, we're missing the king of cups. What a surprise, because the king of cups usually shows up in the reading. So somebody's coming in to apologize to you for interference of not just one, but two people, maybe a couple, uh, maybe their parents. Maybe a male and a female friend or some friends. For some of you, this is an apology from a sibling. I just have to put that out there. We have two matches on the table. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. More clarity, please, on this apology coming in. <laughs> Spirit, you know what? When these cards talk, they talk. Four of Wands. Okay, this this might be a family connection. Okay, brothers, sisters, an apology about two other people maybe getting involved or inserting themselves in your business, um, in the family business, like you know, personal business, in the marriage, in the relationship. There's also apology that an apology uh, about the relationship or like it's like maybe an apology for not being in a committed or not making the marriage better or not making the relationship for not reuniting with you um, for not connecting with you. For some of you, it's your parents. But there's also an energy of, for somebody, this person is thinking about when they were last home, when they were last at home with you, or when you were last at home with them. Okay, I, they just said, an, pull another card. They want another card here for this Four of Wands. Wow. Knight of Swords, fastest knight in the deck. There's going, this apology is going to be like, this person means business. I mean, they're coming in fast with this. It feels real strongly like that's what's coming in. Hmm. I just heard an apology for being so tough about the religious differences or uh, factors. Or the spiritual differences. Wow. Some of you might have been connected with someone who, like I said, maybe there was just opposing issues. And I feel like for some, that person you were connected with was so adamant about it that they could not and would not see your point of view or see your side of it. And even perhaps they were strongly defensive about it and they felt very confident i feel for some it doesn't have to be religious factors just an opinion or something that had an effect on the relationship and i, I like a, a detrimental effect on the relationship or in the family or in the the marriage or what have you and now it's like they want to stand by you no matter what, even if there was like a pregnancy out of wedlock or there was an affair and somebody got pregnant and there's like forgiveness and somebody might have been very angry. The Knight of Swords can have a very assertive, um, it can almost feel angry, um, very sharp with the words, okay? So let's take a look at the Six of Swords here. So this person, I feel like they're in movement here overcoming them themselves overcoming it, it was fear-based it was fear-based their actions in the past or how they were in the past um or the kind of argument of the defensiveness was all fear-based and now i feel like this person is overcoming these fears wow ten of cups see to give that support that you need whatever might be going on in your life whatever you whatever you have or will have going on in your life going forward that this person was not supportive of or was not 
standing by you in your time of struggle or need. There's a change of heart here. There's a change of heart, okay? Ten of Cups is all about support, love, care, nurturing, joy, happy family, marriage, commitment, um, you know, just being all around like there for each other. This person wants to be here for you or there for you, wherever you are. Here or there, wherever you are. Okay, so let's take a look at this Knight of Cups. So this person's coming in with a very, very strong romantic gesture. I'm sorry, I hear. I love you. I apologize for being defensive or not being in alignment with you or just finding reasons to fight and not stick it out with you. I'm sorry I made you go it alone. I'm sorry I left you. I'm blah, you know, like all that going on here. Okay, three of pentacles. I want to work together, be a team. Wow. Let's do this together. Let's build this together. Whatever we have going on, that we'll craft this together. This will be ours because I love you and I wanna, I wanna connect with you. It, is this person having some kind of a wake up call? I mean, it feels more like it's sincerity. It's like I guess this person must have a heart. Sorry, I deceived you. I feel there might have been some deception. You know. The Seven of Swords here gives me the sense that this person, you know, the Seven of Swords is about stealing something from someone and running away. I feel like this person, this person is carrying five swords here and leaving two behind. Okay. So what that means, they're picking up the five swords, meaning five of swords is a card of harshness abuse this person is trying to grab those swords and put them carry them away so no one gets hurt but is leaving two swords left okay and those two swords represent a decision being made here okay and this person is making the decision to protect I have never looked at this card and got a message like that, but that's how I feel here. They're not running away. They're, in a sense, picking up all those swords that are used to harm and damage and abuse and get them out of there so that there can be a proper decision made. Rather than forcing a stalemate situation, to remove the force from the stalemate, to remove the force from the struggle. I hope that makes sense to you because I feel like this person wants to try to see because the Five of Swords is here. I feel like a lot of this apology is coming because this person was either very abusive or just harsh. Fives are all about unmanageability. So they were either very abusive or they're very harsh in their convictions. And they weren't going to hear anything or anyone. But at the same time, they created a wedge in the relationship. Okay. They created a deep wedge. They may have justified their flirtations with other people. That created a wedge. There's an apology for that. Because it was kind of like their flirtations were not innocent. Their, their flirtations had intent behind them. Okay? Intent. Um, not healthy intent. Okay? Flirtation is flirtation. But the, the question, it's not that flirtation is neither good nor bad. The question is, what's the intention behind the flirtation? Is it intention to have an emotional affair that would lead, you know, things progress? It's flirting is kind of like a gateway to an affair. So what was this person's intention here? I want to take a look with the flirtations that they had with other people. Oh, 
Well, there's the King of Cups, like I said, would show up, always shows up. Now we have all kings here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, okay, so there was a King of Cups that was extremely flirtatious with others, but what was the intention? Oh, this, okay, the star. Okay, um, popularity, seeking attention, and, and maybe they sit in a position of fame or in a public figure. The intention was to just gain um, acknowledgement, appreciation. Um, just attention is how I feel. I don't feel like there was, the intention was to flirt, to uh, have that be a gateway into something else. Also, their flirtations had a lot to do with renewing the hope and the hope within themselves because they may have felt hopeless. Okay, there's the tower. Okay, all right. I'm gonna just say this. Okay. Spirit likes to give me a message and then contradict me. I don't know who the hell is talking to me, but they better get it together before they start talking to me here. Get cohesive, please. <laughs> All right. So, so this person might have been um, flirting not to actually have a physical intercourse with someone, but to get off, so to speak. The attention... Um, it's kind of masochistic for, well, male or female, whatever. The te the intention was, ew, I don't even want to keep going there. Okay, for some of you, this is what the apology is about. Now, for others, this person might have been actually having physical intimacy with another person and got them pregnant. The drama, scandalous, they might have had, yes, okay, the the condom broke or you know the little swimmers were pretty damn strong and they got through okay and create created a little star seed baby okay for some of you that's not predictive to all of you but for some this might have happened to you okay and this person there's an energy of like it was very immoral but they were adamant that they were being that they were moral and they were truthful to you and they weren't sneaking around and they were trying not to get those five swords or anybody like this person okay i just heard ding dong doorbell okay this person would instigate things but then run away okay this person would cause harm because this guy here is is carrying three swords which means arguments starting arguments and then running away from the arguments that they started when they got called out on stuff <laughs> ding dong doorbell wasn't me it wasn't me when i saw her in the shower it wasn't me there you go they played the it wasn't me oh boy this person is really like <laughs> trying to be apologetic here to you for what they did. They really effed up. This person effed up big time. Okay. Now, I know some of you guys are like, for some of the men, this is the female that you were dealing with that was mess that, you know, there was something like some kind of an affair. They were flirting there. So that's what Spirit was saying. They, they were telling you that it was, it wasn't for anything really. Um, it was just they like the attention from others but actually there might have been a pregnancy now now i will tell you for others without there actually being the real physical intimacy this was just because this person was getting off on that They're, they get off on the flirting all right let's take a look here the five of swords what's going on here with this five of swords abusiveness wow <laughs> the lovers sabotaging this person was a self-sabotager point blank period this person would start arguments or fights as soon as love they wanted the love they want the love they want the connection they want everything they want it want it want it as soon as they have it they got to destroy it 
or just how they are, their words have a tendency to just break everything down or disrupt or destroy. So there might have been some type of fight or argument or things that were said that just put a wedge in this relationship. There's the Empress. Okay, that's twice. So there's a, there was a Libra. There, I, I listen or a Taurus. Okay. But there was another person. This your purse for some of you, this person was starting fights <clears throat> with you because there was somebody else. Or they were cutting you off, doing that abusive thing, shut out, discard, because there was somebody else, possibly a pregnancy, or just somebody else in the picture. However, it feels like they discarded that person. They left that person. It wasn't meant to be anything. That's what I feel. For those of you where this was another person in the picture, a third party, I felt that pretty strongly. And for others, this person cut off your relationship because somebody else was giving them more attention and they were getting off on that but obviously that's not sustainable let me see what happened with this other person hmm. definitely a libra okay if that resonates for you it resonates the libra gave them um the Le why am i shouting the libra gave your person the what for or the other person gave them their what for like the other person realized gave them some truth and if that's a, not a libra i don't know what is okay some truth came out or okay oh whoever you were dealing with i don't know who the hell this is going to resonate for but some readings are just they blow my mind um either this the other person they were messing around with wanted to get married or there were some legal things that the person went to court. I feel like your person just pulled away or discarded from them, okay? Um, this person fooled around and got into some trouble. They were messing around and they got into some trouble, okay? But I feel like they were telling you in the very beginning or they were defending they were either defending this person or they were defending um their beliefs that's i feel like that's why the abortion thing came up now for some of you i know you're like around my age and none of you having babies so some of you this might have happened a long time ago are we picking up messages from the past yes because the six of pentacles is here so this, for some of you, I'm just telling you a story you're already aware of, okay? Um, I just feel a need to pull something else for the star. So Aquarius, we have Scorpio, we have Libra, like everybody's on the board here. Okay, the Four of Cups here. So, you know, I'm looking at that star and they're telling me a star is born. And then the word birth and born is coming to me and I'm feeling like there was for, I don't know, however many of you, there may, might have been a child that came out of wedlock or came out of a situation here. And your person, it was a surprise. It was unexpected because like I said, for some, if, if that was a third party affair, a physical thing and a child came out of it, some of you may not even know or maybe you suspect, but if that was the case, it was a surprise and your person did not want anything to do with that because they were just trying to get attention. They were just trying to, you know, they were getting off on the attention they were getting. Now for others, um, they just gave me this message that there wasn't, the baby didn't come through. Okay, so this person... There was um. There was a preg there was a um, pregnancy scare. What? How? How come my light went out? I don't know if you guys noticed this, but my candle went out, which tells me the light went out on this uh, situation here. Or this what? For some of you, it might not have even really been an actual child. 
it might have been a false positive that was used as a manipulation tool to keep your person scandalous scandalous some of the guys i'm not even sure <laughs> I don't know how this is going to resonate for you. I know we have a few men in the chat and I don't know how it's going to resonate for you. Leave me a comment if it does, because this feels real heavily like it's towards the females here. Your, your person was in, it was completely indifferent to this relationship. They, they didn't want it. Now, if there wasn't actual physical intimacy with this, with, with them and somebody else, um, I just heard your person gets off so much that they have become almost numb, like comfortably numb, like Pink Floyd, comfortably numb. They have become so desensitized to love and emotions because they are spending so much time <laughs> they're spending so much time spilling their seed here um that uh, there's there's sex addiction i feel here with this person and for some of you i feel like this person is adamant that they're staying that way or at least in their mind, or they're defending. They, for some of you, this person says, no, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm religious. I don't mess around with the per or anything like that. I don't watch that stuff. I don't have a subscription to the per hub, you know, but mm, some of you were like, hold on, buddy. It's either me or... Chelsea chases, I don't even know. Chelsea chases chicks, I don't know. It's either me or <laughs> all that. I can't even go there. I can't even do it. It's not that I'm shy, but I'm seeing the images and I, they're not giving me names. So now I got like an, I've got like the actual, you know, but hub it shows in my head here. Not that I would know what that looks like. Come on, I'm Virgo, I'm pure, innocent. Um, all right, so they're giving me three cards here. What's going on? Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Moon in reverse. Oh, what? Okay. This is... What's this? Okay, there's some truth coming out. For those of you where the child was actually born out of wedlock or a child came out of this affair, they're going to tell you. Part of that apology, trying to get you back, um, trying to support you. If you have a child with them, there might have been you and another person who were both pregnant at the same time. Um, this person's now going to be paying child support for chil two children, or there may be a truth coming out clarity revealing the truth um that they were hiding their that they were kind of like restricted financially and not telling you why and they're going to tell you why um because they've got like 80 kids all across the globe because they can't keep their dick in their pants okay that's for some <laughs> um but i definitely feel like they're going to be reciprocal in exchanging uh, the absolute truth of whatever was going on with them and then why they were fighting why they were putting um you know debbie does dallas prior to uh, instead of your relationship or instead of yours i'm feeling if the devil card doesn't show up i don't know what's going on here all right let's take a look at the eight of cups eight of cups show me the eight of cups Oh, that was the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So I feel like this person has, has been delaying communicating with you. Um, 
they have a tendency to hold back the truth. So it's kind of like they don't, I don't know that they really outright lie to you, but they do withhold telling you things. So that's kind of like lying. You know, if you're up on the witness stand, you know, you're, it's promised to tell the, or is it, I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It's not just about the truth, but it's about to tell. It, not telling is withholding. When you're asked a question and you refuse to answer, yeah, you're, you're claiming your rights there, but at the same time, you know, you look like you're hiding something when you're not forthcoming, when you're running, when you're withholding, and that can be perceived as a lie but it can't be pinned as a lie okay your person has a tendency to withhold hmm. seven of swords in the reverse you know what's funny i gotta tell you just just as i was saying that when you have a tendency to withhold and not say anything you look guilty and when i was saying that i was thinking no, because I, I'm like Netflix documentaries and serial killers and murders, and I love those shows and crime stories. And immediately I was thinking, that's what Brian Laundry did. He looks guilty because he ran. And what did I say the other day? There's Brian Laundry up there in the Appalachians. Okay. Seven of Swords in reverse. <laughs> this person delays telling you the truth. Sometimes. The only time your person will tell you the truth or tell you what's getting what's going on is when they either get caught or when you call them out on something. And then even then they still kind of either fabricate a lie or just just hold back before giving too much information, okay? And I feel like they kind of disappear at times. When you ask them a question, you call them out on something, Mm, you don't want this back, do you, Virgo? All right, let's take a look. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Now, like I said, some of you could be communicating or having a thing here with um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Seven of Wands. Shit, that's the same as up up there. So it's this. So. Taurus definitely has very defensive energy. Taurus is giving the pushback. Taurus is definitely like, is going to fight back. Okay. Very defensive. If, you know, whatever your person's sign is, they've got this defensive energy here still, right? Still. Are they coming in? Are they wanting to make this work with you? Are they wanting to be truthful as much as they possibly like their ability to be truthful to set things right to give you the support you want and all that yeah but the core of who this person is i don't really feel like it's going to change all that much i feel like they are still who they are um why is this person i, I just have to ask um, why is this person going through all this effort to make things right with you or to have you back? Why is this person going through all this effort to make things right with Virgo or to have Virgo back to even propose or do the whole marriage thing or, you know, what have you? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Well, okay, so Spirit just said that they feel very lucky to have you. <laughs> that you put up with their BS for so long. Huh. Wheels on the bus go round and round. This person wants to pro progress things with you. They want the changes. They want you, I'm coming in, I just hear um, what's coming in here is this person is coming to say to you, let's just pack everything up and move away. 
Let's just move away from this energy or this person or this drama. Let's just go and start over. Let's just take the money and run. And let's just go and start over, start a new life together, away from my past deeds, away from all the drama and scandalousness and the chaos that I cause. Let's just... Okay. Now we have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces. Um, for some, your person was, that was your person, or your person was connecting with a water sign. And let's just get away from this person. Let's start over. Yep. Point blank period. Six of Swords, just like in the beginning. Let's get away and let's be together. Let's have our, let's have our life together. I'm sorry for what I did. That's what I, that's what I just heard. All right, Queen of Pentacles is here. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. What's going on here with this Queen of Pentacles? Okay. Male or female, I feel like your person... It's weird. Wow. Ten of Wands and the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. Okay, they just said um, your per your this person, whomever you you're connected with, whether there was an actual baby or this person was just seeking attention and had a lot of females, and there was some scandal or drama connected to that. Um, they're aware that they've placed an extremely heavy burden on you and on your relationship, okay? And they are really hoping that you will see it differently now um, as they want to come in and fix and change and make everything better with you. They're really hoping and praying. This can sometimes be, you know, Jesus hanging there on the cross praying that this will be the end of the struggle and you will see this, that this will be the end of it. This will never happen again. Um, they're seeking forgiveness, that this won't happen again. They made a huge mistake, even though they, they acted as if they were right and or they felt like they needed to do the right thing with this person. Turns out that it was all a scandal or even if it did happen, it was done purposely to trap I feel like a trapped energy um you know even for the males if this was a female um the person they were connecting with was trying to uh trap them into having children with them <clears throat> I mean I know from what I see nowadays there are males who were able to get pregnant so hey however whatever floats your boat wherever you're out with things, okay? For some of you, that might be resonating. Um, seven of Swords. Show me this Seven of Swords. Oh, this person is really, really struggling with the anxiety of the cheating and the lying and the manipulation, okay? This is this energy. Look at this Nine of Swords. Oh, this is karma. This is karma hitting this person after the way they behaved or what they've done, to, how they just breached the trust and destroyed your relationship. This is like, this person's having freaking nightmares about this whole thing has been a nightmare. They did not anticipate that things were going to get as bad as they did. And now it's affecting them in their sleep. So... Uh, guess what? I, I'm going to tell you what. I feel for some of you, this person was, was using spirituality or religion as a form of manipulation. Some of you, some of you, okay? Now, whether this is connected to you or not, this was a pastor, like a bad seed. 
narcissistic type of person was pretending or projecting out to everyone that they were all wise and all knowing and very spiritual and religious and maybe they had a cult following or something i mean hello charles manson who were you dating they have some kind of cult thing going on and acting as if acting as if that they were like the hierarchy with the hierophant the hierophant represents someone who speaks religion or speaks spirituality or teaches about the hierarchy okay the the hierophant is the pope this person you know pretty damn close thought they were that thought they were like seated at the right hand of the father that's what was going on here this person walked around like as if but you know who tried to take over God's position, God's throne there? Satan. Where's the devil? Why is the devil not showed up? Where's the devil in this reading? See, you know why? Because the devil is the father of lies, the master manipulator. And when the devil, the devil never shows up looking like the devil. He doesn't want to scare you away. He's going to come in looking like a pretty boy, a pretty girl. The devil's going to come in looking like everything you've ever wanted and everything you've ever dreamed of. The devil is like a sweet chocolate ice cream cone that you could just lick and lick and lick for days. That's how the devil comes in. The devil doesn't come in with these big black hooves and horns and, you know, a tail. Never. Ace of Wands reversed and Four of Swords in the upright. Somebody here, before I get into this final two cards here, somebody here, maybe it's this person you are connecting with, you know, the devil had their, their grips and their claws in this person. I'm going to tell you that. Were you with the act, actual Satan? No, because nobody's ever actually Satan. Satan just has minions that do his work for him um, or her. So... One of the, I just heard, one of the tactics that this person would use would be to withhold physical intimacy from you. Now, that might not re resonate for all of you, but for some it might. Withhold physical intimacy with you and then ghost you to make you feel, man, this is harsh. My spirit, my guides, though, I'm telling you, when they speak to me, like, they all must be Virgos up there because they're nothing but truth. This person purposely did that to make you feel or to make you chase after it or to make you feel like you weren't sexy or you weren't something, something or enough. Some of you got into binge eating. Your health went to shit because this, for some of you, I don't know if it's all of you, but this person, look, listen. I feel, okay, I don't feel like you were dealing with a full-blown narc, okay? Because a narcissist is not going to be humble in the sense where it comes from the heart and want to try to even go to therapy or religious counseling. What I feel like is happening here, this person, I don't know, listen, prayers work. Okay, prayers work. Now religious factors are influencing this relationship in the love life, your love life. This person, this is communion. This person's going into a confessional or they're, you know, getting the holy water. <laughs> That's what's happening here. This person is coming, coming to the Lord, coming to Jesus, coming to somebody that's going to pour that holy water all over them. Look at that for those Catholics out there, that communion wafer. Can you see it? On the bird, the dove has it in his mouth. I mean, somebody's name start with a W or an M? Michael, William, uh, Mary. Let me get a card here. Show me the... Ace of Cups. My readings are always off the charts, right? 
coming out of the cold, five of pentacles. This person, the reason why they need this help, they're in a poverty mindset. Listen, I feel like the message for some of you, don't take this person back unless you know they've been going in and getting a permission slip signed by the pastor or the priest and the real deal. Like they were really seriously showing up <laughs> the way they need to show up. Some of its defense, maybe some of you are very spiritual and you very religious. Maybe some of you are born again. Are you got your moral code straight or you are living by sp spiritual principles and some of you might have been talking to this person about this and not being like you saw things that the way this person was living living in quote unquote sin however you want to define that um, for yourself whatever that is for you and saw that and some of you were like babe you need to go talk to god because i can't I can't deal with this. I can't fix this. And this person might have been giving you pushback because, well, I don't believe in God or I don't believe in higher power. Or, I don't believe in angels and de deities and spirits and all that stuff. Okay. Well, they do now because guess what? They got spooked. <laughs> they got spooked. They got their ass handed to them on a silver platter. And they got spooked. Okay. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, let's take a look. I have, um, I separated my deck a little bit here. So I'm going to take a look at this person's uh, feelings about you. Their feelings. Feelings. Oh, 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 feelings. I'm very operatic. All right, let me take a look here. Well, hold on. What are these person? What is this person's feelings towards Virgo? I regret lying to you. Damn right. Living in regret. I can't believe the devil card didn't show up. That's hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious, but that's even a strong message to me that because this person's getting called out. And spirit is all over this reading. The devil has run and he's hiding. That's why he's not showing up here. Because as soon as the devil gets called up, called out, he runs. That's why you always got to call people out. Because someone who's not infested with those that, that devil energy, that, that, that yuck energy, someone who's not infested that will be humble and say, yeah, I guess so. I think I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Let me fix it. But you call the devil out. He doesn't fess up to anything. He runs. Runs away like a coward. I regret lying to you. I love you unconditionally. My life is not as together as it seems. I will wait for a sign from you. So many things remind me of you. I am afraid to contact you. Virgo, you got like dun 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 your jaws teeth are out, Virgo. Your jaws and your claws. <laughs> Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay. Well that's them. Those are their emotions. I don't feel like we need to extrapolate on that too much because the message here is pretty darn strong. Let's see what your messages are here for you, Virgo. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Addiction. Point blank period. There's an addiction. This person, listen, for some of you, whatever they were doing, it was all not, not in alignment with your spiritual beliefs or principles, okay? For some of you, it was porn addiction. I think we talked about that. Um, going to strip clubs. Going to prostitutes. Um spending too much time on their own with um you know their vibrator or their um <laughs> i don't know handheld something something i don't know um it, drug addiction alcohol bad stuff gambling really bad 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 stuff like negative addictive 
a negative addiction. This person is also addicted to you and can't let you go and can't leave you alone. Man, better go into rehab. <laughs> I just heard that rehab song. What was her name? I think she passed away. Go on. Go into a go go, everybody. Go into a go go. That's your person. Go into them go go, those go go places. Whew, needing to get that addiction cleared up. Okay, patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing, Virgo. Just let it, let it go, let it go. Not just get detached, Virgo. Just detach from this craziness. Time apart. What did I say? Okay. Some distance will help bring clarity. Virgo, you need to like... Whew, until you see this person getting down on their knees in front of Jesus and cleaning his... Or washing his feet. Keep it moving. Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. You're the master of this. The ball's in your court here, Virgo. Ball is in your court. This person's at the mercy of the things, uh, their past deeds, karma, intuition. You already know the answer you seek, Virgo. Trust your intuition. If it feels off, it's off. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it's a duck. Did you see Brian Laundry when he walks? He walks. He's got duck, duck walk. I'm not making fun of anybody who has that. Please don't take it wrong. I just never noticed that before. And they were pointing that out the other day. And I was like, wow, that's a distinguishing feature about him. Um, it doesn't mean that everyone who has outturned feet and walks that way is a narcissist or a killer. So don't take it out of context. And if you do, the F off my channel, because I definitely don't mean it that way. All right, let's see. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So Virgo, I mean, quite frankly, you know, you've got some work to do here for yourself. I do feel like this person is going to come back in. Um and try to like repair the relationship. I do feel like they're going to get down on their knees and come to this place where they surrender and they give up uh, this fight. There's an internal conflict fighting between themselves and, um, you know, fighting between right and wrong, whatever's going on within them that keeps drawing them back into negative behaviors or things that disrupt the connection or the relationship. I'm sorry, but this is a past thing. This is a past relationship. Okay. I'm not going to pull any more cards. I did see the King of Swords in the reverse, though. So that can be very narcissistic um, as an air sign. Okay. that's. The, I'm not saying air signs are narcissistic. I'm saying the King of Swords, when he's in the reverse, is a narcissistic um, a verbal abuser, manipulator. All right. Let me see. Let's get your your advice more advice here for you virgo still haven't gotten to the charms yet oh my goodness what is your advice what is virgo's advice whoa well of course you have yourself be who you are virgo queen of queen of uh, pentacles stay true to yourself don't change for anybody be don't change for this person. Don't change for anyone or anything. Stand strong in your convictions, okay? You make the world beautiful, Virgo, and wonderful. You have a love of family and home. Stay focused on them. Be practical, though, about how you proceed with this situation. Make decisions in regard to this relationship from your intellectual thinking and not your emotional thinking because your emotional thinking will get you into trouble in situations like this. This is something where you can't let your heart lead you. You have to let your brain be in, uh, take the lead in this connection. If somebody's coming back, you know, because you don't want, you get your emotions tied up in something here. You Maybe you have a soul tie with someone. You let your emotions get tied up and then you're going to be right back down in the rabbit hole with somebody here. Okay. Um, just be sensible in your approach. Just be sensible. If you must approach, approach. But if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Okay, Page of Cups. 
All right. There's definitely messages coming in here regarding a relationship, a romantic encounter. You may be invited to a so get a social invitation uh, to an event. Okay. Tr focus on, trust your heightened. Uh, you have a lot of you have heightened psych psychic abilities at this time. So trust that. That's your gut, your intuition, the messages that spirit gives you. Trust that stuff, okay? Um, and again, be sensible in your approach in this situation. Don't lose your brain. Don't lose your senses. Okay, three of fire. Plan for the long term. Abundance is going to come to you based on your past choices, okay, Virgo? Um, even if you only made them 10 minutes ago, be proud of the success of all your effort and labor that you've put into a relationship or just in your life in general, but be patient as you decide what is next for you. Okay. When this, especially when this energy comes in or if it's already coming in, some of you are like, oh, this is happening to me right now. All right, let's get your charms. I didn't get the charms. The charms came to me. Okay. Canary in a coal mine. Um, there's definitely something, some message that's coming to you from this person for some of you. And they want to see, they're going to try to see if this relationship is dead. It's dead in the water and if there's a chance to revive it. Um, now, I also hear Finch, Finch, or Finn, or Finnegan, or Finch. There could be somebody with that name, or you're looking at, you see a Finch just landed somewhere, like a bird just landed somewhere near you, or where you are, you're looking at the birds in a tree, okay? Huh. This one's sitting still. So, this one's not moving, this bird. So because I see it in a tree right now and that's a past uh if you see finches or you see a finch somewhere it's just sitting there not moving that's a loved one that's passed on that's there with you say hello to your loved one who's passed on or whoever that would represent for you if you've been seeing them or you see one, that's your loved one they're there look we have another bird. This time we have a parrot. That's a message here. Talk to this, talk to the finch or talk to the hand. Talk to the finch, talk to the birds, recognize and say hello. Um, some of you might have a parrot. <laughs> it's weird because <laughs> I have to tell you this. This just came to me. Okay. When I when I pulled the when I pulled the bird and I sat it on this card, I looked at that ship and immediately I felt Johnny Depp and I was thinking Pirates of the Caribbean and now there's a parrot, I matey. So <laughs> I don't know if Pirates of the Caribbean one, two, twelve, or eighty. I don't know what up what, what series. I don't even know what they went up to, but that might resonate for somebody. Or you're rewatching that, or you recently rewatched that, or your person is just like a freaking pirate, right? Um, for some of you, this person, so strange, um, was pirating. In other words, they were. What is pirating? Like stealing, right? Okay, stealing. And somebody tells on them. That's what I. That's what I hear. Or this person gets caught, or they get told on. Uh, some yeah. There's something here about being told, being told on, on like a okay, a narc. <laughs> they just said a narc. Okay, for some of you, you know, a narc back in the day was not a narcissist. It was a narc was someone who was like um, spied on people, pretended to be somebody else, and then went and told on them, like a drug, like a narc for a drug drug uh um <laughs> scheme <laughs> they just said the word scheme uh okay i'm just leaving that there because i don't know sometimes i think they just chat to each other amongst themselves and i'm just picking up some of the conversation so we have a gingerbread here okay maybe you're baking well okay well wait are you baking gingerbread cookies it's october what the hell's the matter with you 
are taking orders. Some of you like to bake. You're taking orders for Christmas or holiday cookies. Are looking up recipes for gingerbread men. I just saw a gingerbread, uh, uh, like, character. Was there a gingerbread man character in a movie? I think I recall something like that. Where was that from? Or a TV show, a gingerbread man. Okay. And then I don't know if it's a horror movie. I just saw like an evil, like a gingerbread man with like a steak knife, like an evil killer gingerbread man. Is that a horror movie? What the heck? Okay. And now again, back with the camera. Some of you are movie makers. You create shorts or films or movies stuff. Maybe you're making a pilot for something. Um, somebody's spying on you. Uh, yeah, there's a private investigator or, or maybe you are, but there's, there's, there's like a spy with a camera. I just heard that. Somebody's taking pictures of you while you're, um, out and about. Oh, oh, they just said, be careful. Somebody has, um, keystrokes implanted on your keyboard. So they're looking at what you're typing or they're breaking into apps that you're talking to somebody. That is so, that is so Halloween spooky. Okay. This is what I'm feeling with that. They're watching your moves on social media. They're looking at your pictures. If you, if you see, listen, you guys be careful what you post on social media point blank period it doesn't matter if you have a stalker or not somebody's always watching don't give your address your name your full name don't put all that out there it's a dangerous world we're living in now okay with easy access to everyone especially you females be careful who you're talking to stay anonymous until you know until you vet people okay Kelly watches way too many crime documentaries and shows. I admit, I admit, but I get stuff happen to me. Trust me. I get like stalkers. I've had people stalk online and contact me. I've had people show up at my door, follow me down the street my whole life. So it's not, you know, you would think you would get used to that. But for me, I don't ever get used to that. I'm so, I'm my eyes. I got like a, eyes in the back of my head. I watch, I, when I go out just to the parking lot to get the mail, I like scan the area like the Terminator. And I look at the car and I, I say to myself, that car is red. What's the license plate? Like <laughs> I'd be perfect investigator. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling like somebody's either taking pictures. Now for others, you're a photographer or you or do something with cameras or photography, okay? And if that's coming to you, that's your message. But I get scandalous readings here. That this is this is the energy that's coming through. And of course, the freaking snake is back. Now, this doesn't feel like what I said the other day, military. For some of you it could be, but this this is a sleuthy, sly, sneaky snake hanging around. Okay. Now the snake does sit on the two of one or two of cups on the caduceus. And I do feel like there's a medical healing aspect to that. So for some of you, you know, um, I'm just hearing, um, I'm, I just heard viper, a viper is what's a viper, not just a snake, but isn't that like some kind of a vehicle? Maybe somebody has a viper. But um, also be careful of a snake oil salesman. I just heard that as well. But then I just also heard that there is some, oh, venom. Venom. Oh. V E N. Oh, okay. V E N O M M O V E. M O. I can't spell venom backwards. V E N O M M O N Monev Monet. But I just heard also, uh, no, they're saying um, watch your Venmo. Do you have Venmo? Watch, keep an eye on your Venmo, you guys. 
somebody's going to stalk you or they're watching you through Venmo or they're going to contact you through Venmo. Oh, gosh. Make sure you're private. Somebody needs to make sure their Venmo is like anonymous and private only to people that you specifically know, select group of people. This reading was freaking off the charts. This was not only Halloween spooky and like a horror freaking story, scandalous, true crime all over this reading. There's something here going on and I'm just going to leave it. I, you guys, I'm just going to leave it. Um, for those of you who showed up in the chat tonight to get your mini readings, thank you. I'm so grateful for that. Please do make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe here on this video. If you think it will resonate for someone that you know, please send it to them. Um, remember, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. And when I say that, what I mean by that is just that, okay? Yes, I get messages. Yes, it resonates for you. But you also need to understand that at the end of the day, you have free will. And what you choose to do after hearing this reading is on you. So make sure you're acting from your core self. Okay. Um, you guys, I got the approval for the VIP membership. Okay. And I'm going to, I think next week, I'm going to have that available for $9.99 per month. You can become a VIP private member of my channel here, House of Virgo. And the only thing I'm going to be doing in there are sexy adult triple X readings, because it's really the only way I can do it without being, you know, without monetization. I don't think I'll do my, I'm not sure. But anyway, I will be posting that and you will see the opportunity to become a member if you so wish. It's totally private. I will be live doing live stream readings. We'll be able to interact. We can talk. It's like a free for all. Um, it's just about the reading and there are no holds barred in these readings. Okay. I know even my readings here can be candid, but these readings are going to be like, <laughs> fetish like I don't even know if I want to say they'll be fetishized but they'll be very interesting so if you're interested in a little extra scandal and drama in these readings definitely think about joining you can join at any time and catch in and pop in at any time all right you guys I'm going to leave your reading there thanks for watching I will see you all tomorrow have a fantastic evening day weekend all right bye